Welcome to the Calm Holy Week Reflections, where we are focusing on the last words of Jesus on the cross. Today is Holy Saturday, also known as Easter Eve, the last day of Holy Week. Well, we recognise this gap between Good Friday and Easter Day, with Christ's body lying in the tomb, we can take some time to come together and reflect on what Jesus did for us on the cross, before tomorrow celebrating his resurrection. So following our theme for Holy Week, the scripture reading today is John chapter 19, verse 30. Jesus is on the cross and a sponge soaked in wine has just been put to his lips. Listen for the word of God. John chapter 19, verse 30. When he had received the drink, Jesus said, It is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Amen. Let's take a moment to reflect on these words. What comes to mind when you hear, it is finished? Is it the washing machine? We might recall a child shouting, it is finished. Or the song I hear on our modern washing machine that is played telling me, it is finished. But we know that the washing is not really finished as the drying and ironing follows. Or it might be our Lenten fasting with ourselves saying today it is finished and looking forward to treating ourselves tomorrow. Or maybe our Lenten reading we took up noting to ourselves it is finished, glad we're through it. Or positively it is finished, maybe I can do something else, I could read more. Or it could be a relationship when one has shouted, it is finished, without real meaning, coming back later after taking some time away thinking about it. However, the final words of Jesus, it is finished, as we heard in John's Gospel, were not a throwaway remark by Jesus, a cry of despair that his ministry to the people had finished, which in one way it had, nor simply that his physical life on earth had finished. But if we take a step back and look at the original language of John's Gospel, this being Greek, we see that the word used for it is finished is actually an accounting term meaning paid in full. It was a word written on receipts showing that the bill had been paid in full. So what Jesus was giving was a cry of victory the victory over sin for us, Jesus paying the full price for us. Having cried out telling us this, and so completing his God-given earthly mission, Jesus bows his head and gives up his spirit. As we know though, this really isn't the end but a beginning. Back to the start of John's Gospel, where Jesus has just turned out the money lenders from the temple, and being asked what miracle he might perform to prove what authority he has to do this, says, destroy this temple and I will raise it again in three days. And we know that Jesus delivered on those words with his resurrection. And so we can be certain that Jesus has taken and will take our sin, as we know we need this, as we are by nature a sinful people. And we take detours in our walk with Christ. However, we must remember that Jesus reminds us in teaching us to pray and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, reminding us to forgive other people who sin against us and we too will be forgiven. As we look to celebrate Easter and reflect on what this means for us, now is the time for a fresh start. Let us lay our sins at the foot of the cross Ask for forgiveness and hear Jesus say, it is finished. And in having our sins written off, let our new life begin and let us be people of action, taking up our cross, walking with Christ, while also remembering the gift of forgiveness through the grace of God is too good to keep for ourselves. 
Jesus showed practical, practical forgiving during his life on earth. So as we find forgiveness through his freeing act on the cross, may we, through the power of the Holy Spirit, forgive all to the glory of God. Just take a moment to think of somebody you need to pray for and forgive today. And after this reflection time, take action and do that. Let us pray. Eternal God, we praise you, for you are the source of light and life. We praise you, Father, for your supreme revelation of yourself in our Lord Jesus Christ, and for your clear vision of your love that we see in him. Inspire us now with the light and life he came to bring. Inspire us now knowing the forgiveness he brought for us. Inspire us now to forgive as you forgive us. Inspire us now to go out in his name and proclaim the gospel. May our praises be worthy of him and may they resound to his honour and glory. For his sake. Amen. And so in remembering what Christ did for us, Let's now listen to Graham Kendrick's song, This is Our God, the Servant King. And as we approach Easter Day, reflect on knowing that we are forgiven as we forgive. How we can bring our lives to God in a daily offering, in thanks for what has been done for us. This is our God, the Servant King. Because 
Cause us now. 